Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Um, I am responding to Juicy Star 07's tag for your um, top summer products that you're using. So um, I'll go ahead and get started. Um, my first product that I've been using pretty much every day um, since I got it, actually I got it last weekend. So it's fairly new in my collection, but it's actually, it's a paint pot. It's called Ruben Mask. I don't know if you can see it. And um, this is what it looks like. See, it's new. But it's like a coral, orangish kind of color. But what I've actually been doing with it is not using it as an eyeshadow base. I'm actually using it as a highlight. Um, so you just take some on your finger and you shear it out. The lady at the Mac store actually showed me that you shear it out like this and you just put it right on this top, like, I guess, um, eye socket bone. I don't know what that's called. But you, like, just spread it right there and up into, like, almost into your hairline on both sides. And um, don't stretch your eye like I just did because it's bad and you'll prematurely wrinkle. Um, shame on me. And you can also put it like sheared out and put it like on your nose really lightly and like right here. And it's just a really pretty, 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 pretty um, highlight color. And it, it really highlights. It catches in the sun. It just looks really good. Um, so I haven't actually used it as an eyeshadow base yet, but I'm sure I will. It's like a, it looks funny from that way. But it's like, it would probably look good under browns or oranges or any color. It's really pretty. And you can also use it as that highlight. So that's really cool. Um, okay, so my other favorite summer product is um, also another paint pot. Um, but this one I actually use as a paint pot. It's the black. It's called Black Ground. Black Ground. Um, so I've been putting it under, I have it on today. I've been putting it under purples and blues, um, mainly just purples and blues, to make it like really intense, like to really like show the color, um, make it a little darker. It looks really, really good under Stars and Rockets. It makes like this purple, like iridescent type color. I have that on a little bit, like just right here on the lid. Um, okay, so my third summer favorite is this blush from MAC, and it's called Cubic. This is what it looks like. And, oops, it's a really um, natural, my camera's going crazy, I'm sorry. It's a really natural, like, peachy, like, summer, like, flush color. It makes you look like, I don't know, I guess just, like, vibrant, like, radiant, like, but just, like, naturally, youthfully, not, like, you know, streaks of blush, which is cool, too, I guess, on some nights. But this is a really good, like, daytime blush, especially if you're fair complected like I am. I'm um, M5 in MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation, in case you're wondering. Um, okay, so let's see. Eyes. I guess we'll go to eyes. What I've been doing for eyeliner this summer, and um, I'm from the south, so it's really hot. Really hot. I think today it's uh, almost 100 degrees, 97 degrees, so it gets really hot where I live. Um and makeup tends to sweat and run. So what I've been doing is using um, this. This is a MAC, MAC 266 from a holiday collection. And this is what it looks like. It's just an, a sharp angle like eyeliner brush. Um, and I've been using it with this color, black tie. It has a hole in it. I hit pan. Um, I've been using it with black tie with this brush. And I just put it you know, as eyeliner. And what I've noticed is it does not run, it does not sweat, it doesn't do any of that, and it stays on all day. And I um, actually got that idea from Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. I was watching like a tutorial um, on how she does her smoky eye, and he um, did that and said that would, that's good for days when it's hot or when you you might be in humidity. Um, so I try, started trying it, and I really like it. I haven't used real eyeliner in weeks. Um, I've just, just been doing that and it looks fine and it, it works well. So, um, alrighty. So, I have, I don't know if you can tell or not on the camera, but I have super long eyelashes. I'm not trying to brag or whatever because it's kind of like a blessing and a curse because if you have really long eyelashes, you have to be careful what kind of mascara that you use. Um, 
because long eyelashes tend to clump and chunk um, and just not really look good. You have to be, you have to take, I take as long as on my eyelashes as I do on my eyeshadow some days because it's like you have to fix them like hair. It's funny. Um, so I've been using this since about Christmas time and it's by Dior, Christian Dior, and it's Dior Show Blackout. Yeah, you can see that. It's apparently, um, supposedly 15% darker, 15 times darker than any other mascara on the market and a blacker, I guess is what they said, but it works really well. Um, you can't really tell today. Whoa, my camera's going crazy. Go back. Oh. You can't really tell because um, earlier I was, I don't know what my camera's doing. I don't, it doesn't understand. Go back. It's like one of those auto adjust cameras, so it's just doing that on its own. Um, you can't really tell today because I'm sorry. Go back, camera. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna keep going um, because my eye shot, my eye makeup got wet earlier, so it is kind of clumpy right now. So it's not a good example today. But um, it does work really well on controlling the clumps on those days. Now my next, I'm sorry, I just go with the camera. I don't understand what's going on. My next um, summer favorite is this brush. It's MAC 187. And um, for the most part, I just wear Studio Fit, like a, like a, a base, obviously, like a primer, moisturizer, or whatever. But um, I usually just wear Studio Fix foundation, powder foundation. I don't usually wear liquid foundation on a regular basis during the day, but sometimes at night and sometimes even during the day, um, I will wear the liquid. Just ignore my camera. I'm not doing that. It's doing it on its own. Um, I will wear it and I've been using my foundation with this and you just swirl. The brush just swirls. These little hairs, they come white, but mine have turned colors. Um, and it, it goes on better like that than if you use like a sponge or a brush. Okay, so my next summer favorite product is this. It's a hair product. It's from Big Sexy Hair. It's called Power Play, Powder Play, Powder Play. And it was like $2 from Trade Secret. And basically what you do is you just take, this is what it looks like, this little star on the top, isn't it cute? Um, you take it and you basically just sprinkle it in your hair. And I've been wearing it every day in the summer. Because um, usually I have to, I have really fine, like flat hair. So usually I have to um, tease it with like a comb or a teasing brush, which is fine and it works well. But sometimes um, conditions, weather conditions don't aren't conducive, let's say that, aren't conducive to teasing your hair. So this, you don't have to tease it, you don't have to do anything, you just put it on the roots of your hair and you just kind of puff it up like that, and I'm wearing it today, which I mean I have this braid, so it's not really like, that looks gross from the side, it's not really like um, a big, you know, poofy crown day, but crown as in like the crown of my head, um, but this works really well, so $2, trade secret. Um, okay, so number eight, I think we're on number eight, I don't know, is this perfume from, actually it's from MAC, it's called Turquatic, and I got it a couple years ago for Christmas or a birthday or something, and I remember thinking that it smelled really, really, mm, mm, really, really well, good, There's something can't smell well, um, good, and the other day I was getting, actually the day that I was getting the Rubenesque, I think, um, I just stopped, you know, they have them by the counter. Well, at my Mac store, they have them by the counter that you check out at. And I just remember thinking it smelled so good. So, I've been wearing that. Um, also, I've been wearing these, like, dangly, straight, dangly earrings. Because my ears are, like, I guess just sensitive. And they can't handle heavy, chunky earrings. So, these, it's like... You get the effect of big dangle earrings, but they're really light. They have little leaves and little beads. Um, so, no fun and gold in summary. So, that is my top 10 summer products tag. I hope y'all liked it. And um, if you enjoyed your review on anything, just, you know, let me know. Um, and thanks so much. See you later. Bye.